Hello and welcome to the Ferret Business Podcast. I am your host, Yemi the Ferret, a.k.a. Yemi. And with me today is a Let's Player who has played a multitude of games from Minecraft all the way to Darkest Dungeon. He's recently turned 31. It's Evil Laugh Gaming. Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> all of his social media links will be down below, including Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube. How are you today, Evil? <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Should I call you Evil? <laughs> uh, everyone calls me Evil or ELG. And... Sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's let's talk first talk about the voice because your voice is soothing. It's a nice baritone. Do you play it up for the videos, or are you just a, a low talker naturally? Um, both. So, I mean, I, I turn up a little bit for uh for this and um and streaming and stuff like that, but I am for the most part this is generally how I talk. So, so you hear um Laurel in the new uh, internet sensation, right? <laughs> <laughs> um. So so. It, how how long have you had such a low voice? Has it been since you were a kid, or or since puberty? Um, yes, something like that. Um, like for for a long. Well, let's see here. You definitely like as a kid growing up. Some people couldn't tell the difference between my voice and my dad's voice over the phone. <laughs> That's pretty funny. So I I I, uh, I was able to get away with a few things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, what's what's the most dastardly thing you've gotten away with? Uh, I mean, I've called myself out of school once or twice. <laughs> Dang, and they and they believed you, you that you were your dad. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> hey, that's that's pretty cool though. <laughs> so, oh, and you can't do it often, but you know. Yeah, you can do it. You can do it just enough, you know. Just just the you know the once or twice, and then you know just to say you can, or you did. And, uh, you know, be good. So, um, are you, a um, like a tall dude or, or, um, you know, I am 5'11. Okay, so you're a little, you're a little bit taller than me. Okay. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm 5'7 right now. All right. Right now. This is, <laughs> this is how I will be for the rest of my life. Great. <laughs> um, so were you the tall kid during school or, um, were you normal? Not really? I mean, I was like, average really and um did you, did you ever get picked on for your voice while you were in school or were you just like everyone was like hey it's it's him um no not really well that's good i, I was i was always uh, picked on for the shape of my head in in school uh people call me jelly bean head <laughs> so i <laughs> um you know that wasn't fun but that didn't last too long luckily uh they pretty much right, right. subsided after elementary school but I, I knew I knew only one person who had a very deep voice in in like the end of middle school or elementary school in the middle school, and we would call him the ogre, um, and that was right around the time of Shrek coming out too. So <laughs> <laughs> interesting. So, no. oh, go ahead. I was gonna say it's like for anything. I mean, I was more teased for being a nerd growing up. Oh, really? So you were um, video games or video games, anime. Pokemon cards. Oh yeah, <laughs> funny story. Not Pokemon cards, but Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Mm -hmm. My friend, one of my old friends, I accidentally left my cards over at his house, and he brought them to school. And I was like, "No, dude, don't do that." So I was trying to secretly put them in my backpack. <laughs> and as soon as the bell rang, I was putting them in my backpack, and poof, they all fell on the floor. And I was like, "Fuck!" <laughs> so, nice. so what would they? What would they say? Would they be like, "Oh, there's the Pokey nerd," or? <laughs> You know what? I really couldn't remember. Block that out from your uh, your uh, <laughs> memory. <laughs> I mean, it was it was a while ago. Understandable, understandable. <laughs> so, where does the name Evil Laugh Gaming come from? So, years ago, there was a game that was supposed to come out called Fable Legends. If you know about this game, I think I've heard rumors about it, but I have not looked into it. Okay, so it got canceled. Mm -hmm. 
But uh, what it was supposed to be was a 4v1 where the four people get to be like random heroes from the Fable universe. And then, the, you know, the one person gets to be like essentially like, the dungeon master. Okay. So my plan was back when this was supposed to come out is I was going to have my Twitch channel and I was going to focus on maining the, the, the bad guy essentially, you know, and then just, you know, just troll on people. Right. So that was going to be my whole gimmick thing. So I'm like, all right, um, since, you know, I'm going to focus on being the bad guy, I have my laugh. <laughs> we'll just go with that. <laughs> yeah. So are you are you a fan of the Fable series then? Or? Uh, I really did enjoy the first two. The third one, not as much. Yeah, unfortunately, the third one is the only one I played. Uh, okay, that, that's the worst one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, after I played it, I was like, you know, that wasn't as good as people were saying the series was. So I, yeah, I don't know. I'm hoping that like a remaster comes out of the first two so I can actually get into those ones. The first one already has a remaster. Oh, does it? Technically, yeah, for... It was originally on the first Xbox, and they did an HD for the 360. Oh, okay. Yeah, too bad my uh, 360 is a uh, lying in a trash pile underneath my bed. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do believe uh, it's backwards compatible for the Xbox One right now as well. I'll have to, I'll have to check that the out. The Xbox Game Pass. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely have to check that out. Um, what, what's the um, What's the style of those games? Is because um, I know the third one was more like um, like a third person action type game. It's it's all that third person uh, RPG crude humor. Okay, so yeah, that's the stuff I like. <laughs> yeah. So, um, what inspired you to start up your YouTube slash Twitch channel on? Hmm. Let's think. Well, first, I, and or, originally it was for, for that game. It mm -hmm. was part of the reason. Because around the same time is when uh, Twitch made it uh, available that you could stream directly from your Xbox. Okay. So that was part of the whole reason I got into it. Because I'm like, oh, I finally can. I don't, because my computer was a piece of crap. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I was like, all right, I can actually, you know, do this stuff now. And, um,. So just like timing wise, that that worked. Well, that's cool. Um, I know if the PlayStation didn't have its share option, I probably would be doing a lot less in the video game department on my channel, definitely. Because right, my 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 computer that I built is, you know, I like the joke that it's running, it's, it's run by gerbils, <laughs> and it really starts to show when I start up a game, and then my laptop, which yeah. I I just bought like a few months ago, no lie, it it already is like run by even smaller malnourished gerbils like <laughs> I, can't, I, I don't know what to do i'm probably gonna have to uh, save up for like a, a, a better build or something like that i'm actually my buddy took pity on me and let me borrow his gaming laptop Ooh, now that's because because nice. he's like dude it's collecting dust i know you're trying to do this stuff just borrow it until we build you yours that's awesome so do you want to give a shout out to your friend um, he goes by Ragnarok. Um, I don't know if you run into. He may make a special appearance somewhere. Well, but, I'm, uh, I'm sure if he hears this, he'll be like, "Hey, that's me." <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's that's the uh, the uh, the gamer tech he usually goes by like Ragnarok or, or some numbers occasionally after it. Just if somebody grabbed that by then, right? But yeah. So I I dig your avatar. It's a really nice little uh, logo you got there. Um, did that idea come from anywhere um, in particular? My friend made me that actually. Well, he did a very good job. I love the little jester hat and the smile. Um, she and oh, yeah. she. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes. Uh, so uh, speaking of low voices and. Um, evil laughing i created a little game here for us to play um and it is called scooby-doo villain or united states senator and this is a game where uh, you have to tell me whether the name i say is from scooby-doo or if it's a the name of a united states <laughs> senator and every time you get one wrong you have to do your most menacing evil laugh you can muster <laughs> sound like fun 
That sounds awesome. <laughs> All right, here we go. So okay. number one, mm-hmm. Henry Bascombe. Hmm. I'm gonna say that's a U.S. senator. Ooh, that would be incorrect. Ah. Uh, he is actually okay. from Scooby Doo, and he was the <laughs> spooky space kook from season one. <laughs> 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 Ooh, that 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 is damn good. You ever thinking of doing like voice work for like games or something like that? Um, yes, I have thought about this. Um, if you go onto my channel under the collaboration, I did do a voiceover for a buddy of mine. That's awesome. I would I could totally see you doing like a some sort of like a Bethesda game or something like that where. <laughs> Like that's that's great. Or like um, a lot of those top-down MMO type games, they uh, they get uh, YouTube voice actors too. Like um, I think yeah. there was that one guy. Um, I forget his name right now, but he was he was a big role in one of the latest like uh, one of the, I think it was like a Heroes of the Storm or something like that. Hmm. Any anyways, uh, <laughs> yeah. Number two, <laughs> Bob Oakley. Bob Oakley. That sounds like Scooby Doo. Oh yeah, that's Scooby Doo, and he was the Wolf Man. Ho, you know. Yeah. I believe that was from season one and two. I, th- I think that's what the, I, the the wiki said. I could not remember that. <laughs> and all these are original Scooby Doo villains. They are not the new shit, I should say. Just right, to let you right. Know. No, I got you. All right. So number three is Roy Blunt. Let's go senator on that one. That is correct. He is a senator from Missouri. Okay. Number four. Sherrod Brown. Uh, We're going to say a senator again. That is correct. He is a senator from my own state, Ohio. I'm coming down to Ohio. (laughs) Next up, number five. Roger Stevens. Let's go Scooby-Doo. That is correct. He was the Wax Phantom. The Wax Phantom. Oh, I don't even I don't even remember that episode to be <laughs> honest with you. <laughs> yeah, nope, 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 nope. Not even gonna not even gonna try. Next one, number 6 is okay. Diane Feinstein. Scooby-Doo. Ooh, that would be a senator from California. Uh, okay. Let's hear it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Woo! Number seven. Angus King. Angus King. In a, uh, world, in a world where Angus King lives. Scooby-Doo. Ooh, that would be a senator from... Maine. Ah. <laughs> 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 right. Okay, uh, number eight. Okay. Penrod Stillwall. Senator. <laughs> no, he is the headless ah. specter from Scooby Doo. <laughs> Uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> all right. Number nine, John mm-hmm. Sims. John Sims. Um, Scooby Doo. That is correct. He is the wit- right. He is one of the witch doctors, I should say. He also okay. had. A, he also had an assistant, but they didn't name him in the wiki, so I decided to put the the, the, the regular. You're starting to uh, break up a little. Oh, am I? Oh, there, there you are now. Oh, hey, how you doing? That was weird. <laughs> but he, uh, there's actually two witch doctors technically, but the one is just an assistant. So sure. I decided they didn't name him in the wiki, so I guess he's he's not important. So. <laughs> so. Right. Only original matters. Right. Number ones. Uh, speaking of number ones, here's number ten, which is a one and a zero. Uh, okay. <laughs> this this person's name is John Thune. Senator. You are correct. 
He's a All senator right. from South Dakota. <laughs> oh, that that was that was Scooby Doo villain or United States senator. Thanks for playing Evil Laugh Gaming. That was fun. <laughs> you you did pretty well. I think you got about half of them correct. I think I got about half. Yeah, <laughs> you're you're like yeah, my voice is starting to strain here. I <laughs> can. No, not even. Not even in the slightest. <laughs> So, you just turned 31 years old a few months... Well, actually, probably about a month ago now, right? Uh, seven days ago. Seven days ago. Well, it'll be about a few months when this uploads. <laughs> yeah, it will be a few months when this uploads. That's right. I saw your schedule, dude. It's, it's <laughs> There's packed. a lot of people ahead of me. But now that I'm doing two episodes a week, it should go a little bit faster for people. Mm -hmm. um, but I just wanted to know if you have any knowledge that you would want to pass down to someone just re reaching the age of 21. Ooh. Hmm. I would say there's 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 a saying I, I've really like taken to recently. Mm -hmm. It is um a year from now you'll wish you started today. Sounds like a fortune cookie. Right, you know, it was one one of those like goal cast videos I like get on my Facebook feed. Uh -huh. But like that one was like, cause I remember that one like roughly, I don't know, like six months ago before I, like, I really started getting back into YouTube, or actually when I started getting into YouTube is what I should say. Mm -hmm. Um, because I'm like, you know what? Yeah, you know, I might as well start because. <laughs> <laughs> There's, there's no reason not to. So you you have a personal connection to that quote then? A little bit, yeah. Um, so so you do wish that you started your YouTube channel sooner then? Uh, definitely. I mean that or I, I I'm originally a Twitch streamer. Right. You know, as I was doing that for a year or so before I actually like really started doing my YouTube. Like if you look back at the Minecraft videos, those are just like exports from Twitch. Yeah. Yeah. Because I didn't understand how everything worked at the time. <laughs> but, um, you know, yeah, there's, you know, there's a few things I wish I just, like, started earlier. Right, yeah. I, I know I wish I had uh, started actually uploading videos on this channel a little bit sooner. Because yeah. pretty much everything in the first week of my of this channel is just stuff from my other channel. And I really should have spaced it out a little bit more because I just bulk uploaded it all and they have like zero to one view on, on most of the <laughs> right. videos. So that, that's one of the that's one of the things I probably could have done a little bit better or like started a little bit sooner, definitely, definitely. Right. But, but I mean, like the only way you get better is by doing this stuff, you know. Right, yeah. No. So if you uh, you, if you could tell your younger self something, what what would what uh, would you say to yourself? Hmm. Like let's say you need you need to give some information to a year ago yourself about YouTube. <laughs> A year ago, me. Let's see, what was I doing a year ago? A year ago. Definitely. <laughs> 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 All right. Um. Well, I, I'm pretty sure you've heard. I like. I just recently moved. Right. Yeah. I think I heard right. in your update. Yeah. 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 Um. I should have moved a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> Because uh, my previous apartment complex has just gone to trash. Oh, really? And, yeah, like, they switched owners, and it's just a mess now. Ugh. So, like, if we were not thinking about moving, we would have moved now. <laughs> 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 so. So you would tell yourself, that, get, I mean, get the hell out. Right. I mean, other than that, this year has been pretty productive for me. I think, I think another thing that you could probably tell your younger self... Um, you had to redo, you have to do redo Undertale again, um, which would be your fourth playthrough, if I'm not correct, on your channel. Uh, let's see here. Yes, there has been four playthroughs. So, tell us why you have to do another playthrough of Undertale on the channel. I know you've enjoyed the game. I, I remember hearing that in your um, yeah, yeah. in your in your update video. Um, but what, why do you have to do another one? Um. Well, the first time was a blind playthrough, so I got the neutral ending. And then um, I went through it again to get the pacifist ending. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then the third time was trying to get the genocide run. 
which well, is where you murder, like kill everything. You kill, and then, um, <laughs> kill everything. <laughs> I messed that up. Okay. So I had to do it the fourth time to do the genocide run correctly. Well, at least at least it's a good game, you know. I, I really oh, yeah. enjoyed my time with it personally, and it's, I, it's I think a it's lot of fun. it's definitely the perfect blend of like it's it's got comedy in there, it's got the mm -hmm. the, the 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 like um, more um, turn based strategy kind of in there, along with some um, you know real time strategy as well, just dodging yes. the freaking uh, arrows. <laughs> well, Ooh. and then um, I did voices for all the characters as well. Oh, did you? Yes. Well, that's awesome. I, I'm definitely going to go and, and watch that definitely. Because that's that's got to be the, the best. Yeah, that that was a lot of fun. Which um which uh which enemy type is your favorite in that game? Because for me personally, it was the uh, the dog in the armor where you could just pet him, <laughs> and his head would just keep getting longer. <laughs> I love that thing. <laughs> um, my favorite is Papyrus. Like, you have to remind me which I, one that is. Uh, the skeleton brother. Oh yes, yes. Okay, yeah. I thought you said Alpyrus for a second. I was like, who's no, that? No, Papyrus. Papyrus, yes. I actually have a little plushie of him that I got at PAX West. Oh, nice. It's very cute. So what about it makes uh, makes him such a... Uh, uh, your favorite character, I should say. It was just fun to, like, to do the voice for him. <laughs> like, I, I did, like... I got it... That. Um, I don't know, when I first read it, like, in my head, like, Skeletor popped in my mind. <laughs> So like um, like I'll just do voice for you. Yeah, sure. No, 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 no. So like um, Sans, <laughs> where's that human? <laughs> That's perfect, actually. I I could yeah. hear, I could totally get that voice <laughs> in my head for him, definitely. Yeah. So as I said before, the Phoenix Comic Con is coming up, or not Comic Con, yes. but Comic Fest is coming up. Comic Fest, yes. Um, by the time that this uploads, of course, you'll already have gone there and probably done everything that you want to do on your channel for it. But what are you most excited for about the the Comic Fest? One of my favorite uh, authors is going to be there, R. A. Salvatore. Ooh, shout out! Yeah, so he's um, a big like D and D fantasy realm uh, writer. Okay. He's the creator of the. He's the guy who made, if you know, Dritz the Dark Elf. Nah, I don't know about that. Okay, so he's the the author who made that character. Okay. And then there's like, I don't know, like 20 books surrounding him. Wow, um, that, that is a lot. Yeah, he's really known for the Forgotten Realms campaign setting for his books, for his novels. But um, he's also been the writer for Kingdoms of Alamar the Reckoning. That's a 360 game. Oh, okay. And um, for Neverwinter, um, he wrote one of the uh, one of the expansions, which cool. included uh, Dritz and some of the other characters from his books. Well, that's, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, so hey, ho hopefully you have a good time and uh, have a safe journey, of course. Oh yeah. Yeah, but... that is actually next week for me. <laughs> oh, next week. Well. <laughs> So, uh, do you have videos auto uploading while you're gone, or are you just gonna? Um, um no clue. We're gonna figure that one out. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I think that is all the time I have today with Evil Laugh Gaming. I just want to thank him once again for coming onto the podcast. It was a blast. Yeah, thanks for having me. All of his social media links will be down below in the description, so make sure you check him out. And I am. Definitely checking out that Undertale playthroughs because <laughs> I want to hear every single, every single voice <laughs> that you yeah, did. There's, there's a lot. So, is there anything else you want to add before we like Scoob? We gotta get out of here. <laughs> um, no, not really. All right. Well, I am your host, Yummy the Ferret, and this has been another episode of. The Ferret Business Podcast.